You're listening to a forum for candidates for the House of Delegates in contested races from the greater Richmond area. I'm Bill Miller. I'm moderating tonight's forum along with WCBE's Dan Rosenthal. We are pleased to have with us 15 candidates running in nine House districts representing the city of Richmond and the counties of Henrico, Hanover, Chesterfield, and Powhatan. We are also joined in the Commonwealth Public Broadcasting Studios by a live audience. We want to remind you that an audio recording of this forum can soon be found on our website, ideastations.org slash radio. Additionally, Comcast Cable has agreed to air a videotape of this broadcast periodically on one of its local access channels up until Election Day. Gary Reinhardt from uh, District 65 is um, independent and is challenging Republican Delegate Lee Ware for that 65th district that includes Powhatan and Chesterfield counties. Delegate Ware was not able to join us due to a schedule conflict. Uh, Mr. Reinhardt, if you would, uh, some background on you. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, I am a proud husband, father too, in Chesterfield County Public Schools, a lifelong Virginian, a longtime Chesterfield County resident, and the independent candidate in the 65th district, and the only candidate who's going to be here tonight from that district. As an independent, I will not be able to outspend the party machine, but I will certainly outwork it, and I have. I've been to literally thousands of doors in the 65th district asking people what they need out of their government. What they want is a delegate who supports public education. Indeed, I'm endorsed by our fine teachers. They want a delegate who will work to help their public safety officials. And indeed, I am endorsed by the Chesterfield Firefighters. They want a delegate who will care about our families and our business and community leaders. And that is who I will be. I will not be a party politician because I do not belong to a party. I will be able to be a delegate as our founding fathers have intended, one who speaks for the people of Chesterfield and Powhatan counties and who works solely for the good of the people. Thank you. Your first question, what do you believe is the major problem facing the 65th district and what needs to be done to address that? Well, the 65th district is truly a great place to be. But like everywhere in the Commonwealth, we have issues with the economy. One of the things that we are threatened with right now is this reduction in educational funding. The reason why the 65th district is such a great place to live is because our schools are so good. But in order to keep our fantastic teachers and keep our fantastic schools, we need to support them. We need to work to shrink class sizes. We need to work to get our teachers' pay up to the national average. I understand this budget economy and this bad economy, the budget cuts are going to come. But we need to work to keep these cuts temporary and minimal, particularly in our education system. Everything about education is what everything the 65th district is about. One reason why property values maintain their value, have maintained a, a good value is because the schools are so good. When you go to Chesterfield Town Center, you get good service from a kid because he has gone to the Chesterfield County Schools. Or when you go out to Powhatan, you see good schools out there because of good teachers. And we need to make schools better, and we need to protect our schools because K through 12 are the building blocks of our society. That's where great citizens are made. And that's what we have in the 65th district. Thank you. Your second question uh, deals with the health insurance industry. Do you think that uh, more regulation or less regulation of that industry is needed to make health coverage uh, available for more Virginians? Health insurance, um, let me give you an example here. I'll give you a personal example of how health insurance companies my brother's a doctor, and I, I, for years I've been listening to all the issues regarding health care costs and health care insurance. A couple years ago, I hurt my knee. Went into his office, and everybody knew that I had torn a ligament in my knee. I knew it. He knew it. He did a simple test to prove it. He scheduled an MRI. We called the health insurance company. He called the health insurance company and said, you can't get an MRI until you have an x-ray first. There was absolutely no reason for that. The health insurance company was controlling my treatment. There was no reason for me to have to pay for an x-ray and an MRI. Everybody knew I had torn me a plan over them. So what we need to do is to get the health insurers to leave the doctors alone and let the doctors handle health care. 
So yeah, I think that probably we do need to work on reining in the health insurance. I work as an insurance defense attorney. There's an entire volume to the Virginia Code, about yay thick, and for the radio audience, about an inch and a half thick, that deals solely with insurance. And a little regulation of health insurance companies will bring down costs, will help our doctors do their jobs, and will get better care to the patients that they're trying to help. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Turning to district.